Hi, I'm going to share with you a new series of paintings that I am in the process of developing. They'll be done primarily on a commission basis, and this is the first one that's in progress. They'll be called Garden Angel Paintings, as in G-A-R-D-E-N-S. And I will put the angels that I'll paint in different garden scenes. It could even be your own, or a portion of your own if you send me a photograph. I will pick up frames at yard sales that are exquisite and if you live locally you can come visit my home and select the frame that will go into the uh, your painting will go into. Or in this case here I will paint them on canvases that are capable of standing up. They're so broad on their own, even on a table. And there, uh, artists will use these frames, uh, uh, paintings as frames. And uh, sometimes they're called Monet's frames. Now once again, in this particular image, I have an angel. And the gentleman that I am doing this painting for, and it's a gift for his uh, wife and daughter. And I said, what type of flower would you like to have the angel have in her hands? And he said, roses. So the angel has some roses. And I like that. And can I wrote this poem, it's kind of dear to me, about a rose. Roses grow and always know of the joy love brings springing forth eternally. Now in the sky in that, there's a suggestion of what I'd like to think of is a blessed mother, but it could be any mother with a child, perhaps even a dad. How when you look at a child, you feel love and you feel the love that they're giving you. Now once again, these works will be $99, a fraction of, of what I've sold paintings for at that size. I've not really been into money of late, but I do want to be a little bit more independent and uh, help support my various, what one might regard as ministries, working with the people who are ill and sometimes the homeless who will end up being guests in my home and people who are ill that uh, I will pray with and visit them in rest homes, bring my guitar, sing to them, generally try to cheer them up and if possible bring them a little bit closer to God. The calendar of time is drawing nigh. There's sunlight reflecting on the painting at this stage. coming in from the window. Now I'm going to share another aspect of the angel paintings that I will do. And that portion <coughs> will be wave angels. And I'll put them in existing seascapes or I will create seascapes where the angels may be in a spray or somewhere. Originally this was going to be a garden painting I left very little room for a garden in this case. I'm quite into the uh, lone cypress from the viewpoint of... I've done prayer paintings of the lone cypress for people who needed double lung transplants and things like that. And, in both cases, the young ladies received them and survived the operation. One received one when she was 21, she's now 34. And the other one received one a couple of years ago. And so, my first angel painting was of the Lone Cypress and Con. They're prayer paintings to me. I'll play songs that are spiritual songs that I write and I'll pray while I'm painting them. And uh, it's all part of the combining the spirituality with the creative process. 
they say if you sing, you pray twice. So if I sing <laughs> and pray and paint, well, maybe I'm painting three times. Very much into the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Well, may God bless you, and if you're uh, intrigued with having an angel painting done, the small ones are $99. And if you come over to my studio, you can pick out the frame that from the um, array that I have. Or you can have me do them on canvases. And down below I also have, it's hard to see, but I'll hold it up just to dramatize it. I've done paintings on glass before, and it's my uh, intent to do more, and then they could be on a stand, or have a base made, which I would make, and with the light shining through them, it would be like stained glass, but in a different way. So you have that potential option, and here it, evidently it's reflecting some different things. So you have a number of options. You'll have quality work by a, uh, a skilled artist. And it'll have, I'm hoping in a way that they'll bring into your home a, a feeling of appreciation of angels and, and a suggestion maybe sometime you can be an angel too by just reaching out and helping people in need. Well, have a good day and God bless you all. May the angels watch over you. Your garden angel and a few others.